Hey everyone, what's up? It's time again for yet another UI UX workshop. Hey everyone, what's up? Gary Simon here. So this is the UI UX workshop and I've done several episodes before. I'm going to put these into a playlist uh, in case you want to check them out. But basically I choose three different UI designs submitted in my Discord channel. The link is in the description if you want to go there and hang out or submit your own. And I improve them in some way, shape or form. And we do this really quickly and I describe all my decisions as I'm redesigning certain elements of their UI design. So the very first entry that we have that we're going to take a look at is from user Jerry and this here is a contact section for um, a company as you can see and the next up after that is from user raise or rise I'm not really sure how to pronounce that but basically this is a portfolio and then after that we have from J Dave 2412 this little e-commerce sort of like a apparel selection sort of where you ch choose uh, colors and sizes and all that stuff so we're going to take a look at each three of these and i'm going to um just do a voiceover as i show you a sped up version as i'm recreating these designs and i'm going to do my best to tell you why i've made these certain decisions so that hopefully we can improve them uh, as much as possible. Now, as always, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Before we begin, this episode is sponsored by Linode. Now, whether you're a seasoned developer or just a beginner, you can use Linode. You can start from scratch and fully customize your server or use Linode's one-click apps to deploy pre-built setups like cPanel. cPanel and WHM is a tool that allows you to go from creating individual websites to scaling and managing as many servers as you need. With cPanel and WHM, you can manage your Linode servers through an easy graphical user interface and enjoy free SSL, backups, email, and database management, website builders, and more. So sign up with the link in the description to get a $20 credit on your new Linode account with code DESIGNC19. Our first entry is a contact section for a company's website, and this is the focus of this video's title, The One Thing You Shouldn't Do in UI Design. The one I'm referring to here is how the designer has a high contrast background photograph along with a transparent overlay that contains a lot of text. Unfortunately, this makes it very difficult to read. So my goal with this refactor is to show you an alternative method to ensure a much better experience for the users at the site. So here I start off by restructuring the navigation bar. On a larger viewport width, there's no reason to collapse the menu to the left as this designer did. So I'm going with a more conventional approach to left aligning the logo and putting the full menu to the right. Next up, I take a moment to examine the type of content inside of the container and I also import the background photograph, but I end up not actually using it. So what I decided to do is import a screenshot of Google Maps to really feature the location in the left column and then in a right column with plenty of white space featuring the other type based content. Next, I believe a contact page should always have a contact form in addition to featuring an email, although I think I forgot the email, oops. But then I was stuck with an issue. It's really best when form elements aren't side by side, so I wanted them stacked on top of each other, but that left me with a wide open area in the right column. So I decided to take the contact information above and then stick that to the right of the form and then simply extend the maps layout to the full width of the layout. Our second entry is a very creative and unique design for a front-end web developer's portfolio. First, I love it when designers step outside of the cookie cutter layouts, but I definitely think there's some things we can improve with this example. The biggest issue here is there's a lack of visual hierarchy. There's too many elements competing for the eye's attention. So I'm going to try to address that while keeping the overall feel of the design. The first thing I do here is redesign the menu. The previous menu seemed to be slapped on the upper left without much white space. So I'm fixing that and deciding to right align it. Next, I do like the large watermark type in the background, so I'm keeping that, but I definitely feel it contrasts too much, so I lower the overall opacity. Now the headline, I am Ryan, seems too much of an afterthought of being so small and right aligned, so I made it bigger and feature it to the left. I also take the subheadline text and align it underneath so that both pieces of type are easily scanned by the user. Next up, I experiment with adding the primitive shapes, but I was having a hard time establishing a good visual hierarchy when they were so bold and vibrant in orange. 
I wanted the focus to be on the headline and subheadline, so I ended up lowering their contrast but adding a few more primitive shapes. Our third and final entry allows users to cycle through different pieces of apparel and choose colors and sizes. There's a lot here that needs to be improved as there are three different buttons to unnecessarily spread out across the design, the all products button, contact us and information buttons, as well as the options unnecessarily separated on the left and right. The first thing I do here is left aligned a very simple wordmark based logo as I felt the original logo seemed too cheap with such a flamboyant font. Then I take the product image and dedicate a right column at around 45% width and place the left and right arrows within it to allow the user to cycle through different products. Now instead of placing the product name over the image which makes it hard to read, I place it more prominently in the left column as a headline. Then I take the colors and size options and situate them in a two column layout. The previous example had them split far apart to the left and right which is bad for usability. I also felt it would make sense to have some sort of call to action, such as adding the item to a cart. And finally, the buttons, the three buttons on the old layout, I thought could be condensed into their own navigation at the top in their own menu. All right, so hopefully you really enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure to subscribe so you can check out more. I do these, you know, maybe once or twice a month. And so, yeah, look out for more content. Also, check out my recent video where I did a music video. It's on the channel trailer. Very interesting stuff. All right, I'll see you guys real soon. Goodbye.